because adversity is absolutely the foundation of success. The, the other thing I know is I have bad news. Nobody gives a fuck about your problems. And this is super important to understand. The second you actually understand that nobody actually gives a shit, the only people that listen to you complaining are your loser fucking friends. If you like complaining, like just take a step back. Look around the next time you're complaining about the government or, or you know, racial or feminine or, I've heard, I had a guy sit in front of me the other day crying that his life was bad because he was a white male. Rich white male. I was like, oh shit, we've gone everywhere now. You're either on the offense or defense. I just want you to know something. One of the things that's been really on my mind is I think a lot of people think they're in the middle. They're like in a transit. You're only on the offense or the defense. And I've realized that I've been on the offense my whole life because I never felt entitled. Like you're literally gonna live four more lives, five more, like from the day you were born that you cannot fucking remember, to right this second, you're about to do that three to four more times. Literally, literally, your biggest advantage is timing. For all the great things that I have in my life, I would literally give it up, all of it, all of it, just to be 25. I would give up for 17 years, I'd give up everything I have, because that's how valuable time is. The far majority of this room has time, time as their asset, and every day, the number one asset they have, time, they give away by being impatient, mainly on the back of listening to society or their parents that they have to have their shit figured out at this age. The fact that people actually think at 18, 22, or 30, you have to have your shit figured out is fucking ridiculous. Let me promise you, all those parents and uncles and grandparents that push down your throat that you have to figure it out by now, they still haven't figured it the fuck out. So this nonsense, this fucking nonsense that you have to have it figured out at 18, 22, 30. You know how many people freak the fuck out at 30? How many people are 30 right now? That shit was crazy, right? Like people lose their shit at 30. Like meanwhile, they're a fucking kid. And so I'm unbelievably um, aware lately that one of the, you know, people are always like, why do you win? And I talk about my parents and not coming from anything. But the more that I live, I'm like, shit, the reason I really win is because I understand time. And listen, I know I can get hit by a bus or get terminally ill. I get it. Here's the problem. That's far more unlikely for the majority of us. The math works in your favor and we are stunningly not patient. I promise you here, out of every fucking person here, even if you sit here and your friend brought you and you didn't like me and you think I'm shit, nobody thinks less of themselves. Nobody thinks less of me in this room than me. I mean that. If I'm just unbelievably not high on my own supply, I appreciate the admiration, I understand what's happening with me, but I promise you, if you could read my insides on a piece of paper, I stand up here knowing I'm not shit and tomorrow it can all go away unless I continue to execute and I, I play on that edge every day and I appreciate and I'm flattered, but I'm not fucking confused. Which really fucks with me because 99% of people, no really, because 99% of people that I see that aren't even close to doing the shit that I'm doing get one little headline or have a viral day or have one person with a blue check follow them and they think they're fucking special. If you think you're special, you fucking are finished. I mean, it's important to have confidence, but don't get delusional. It is absolutely your vulnerability. And let me remind everybody under 32 in this room, you have not faced a bad economy in your entire life. So you have not been punched in the face in a macro way yet. So whatever you think you are, you're playing in a fake fucking environment. You haven't done shit. You're in the minor leagues, boy.